let's begin there are calls by different groups of the society to change the name of the city of hyderabad they bring forth several historical narratives about the original name of the city and how it should be reverted back to its original name but do we know how many names hyderabad city really had during its 430 odd years of existence let's find out significant evidence both epigraphic and numismatic about the name of the fort being called Muhammad Nagar named after the prophet Muhammad himself and it is on the walls of the Musa Burj Namaki Darwaza and on the western wall of the fort itself and all of the coins that were minted in the mint within the fort had the name Darul Sultanat Muhammad Nagar meaning the capital of the sultanate Muhammad only after five kings had ruled over Khila Muhammad Nagar that they realized that the fort the massive fort of Khila Muhammad Nagar was not sufficient for the people living inside the fort they realized that we need to move out of this tiny fort and build a new capital and it was first derived the idea was first derived to build a new capital by Ibrahim Khuli who wanted to build a capital on the east side of the present fort and he started his venture and it was called ibrahim bagh but ibrahim bagh really did not work because of the lack of water and it was only his son muhammad khuli who managed to build a massive city for himself on the southern bank of the river musi now the site was selected four kos away from the fort of golconda or the khila muhammad nagar and the center piece of this city was the charminar the monument of charminar was built as a centerpiece of it and around it were several palaces gardens markets and all the things that were required in a pleasure city now when muhammad khuli set the foundation of the city while placing the foundation of the charminar they actually minted coins in the name of darul sultanat hyderabad and his successor mohammad khutub shah minted coins with the name darul sultanat shahr e hyderabad and it went on until uh, abul hasan khutub shah and successively they also mentioned in different places the name of the city as hyderabad farkhunda buniyat in the khutub shahi period the name farkhunda buniyat was more like a prayer for the city when the foundation was being laid Farkhunda Buniyat means eternal foundation Hyderabad Farkhunda Buniyat meant the city Hyderabad with the eternal foundations or the foundations that are eternally blessed now this continued until the fall of the Khutub Shahi empire in the year 1687 when Aurangzeb Alamgir the Mughal emperor took over the fort and the entire empire was now annexed by the Mughal empire Aurangzeb Alamgir changed the name of the city of Hyderabad as Dar al Jihad meaning the gateway or the doorway of jihad or holy war and this happened in 1687 and most certainly the name survived until the Nizam of Hyderabad declared his own independence from the Mughal rule which was roughly the year 1724 Since 1724 till 1763 the capital of the Nizam empire or the Asaf Jahi kingdom was Aurangabad and from Aurangabad they moved to Hyderabad in the year 1763 and then they changed the name again to Hyderabad Farkhunda Buniyat you can see significant uh, evidence of this in the coins that were minted in the Asaf Jahi dynasty in mints across Hyderabad state and all of these coins carried the name Dar al Sultanat Hyderabad Farkhunda Buniyat and the name continued until the railways came in 
Once the railways came in Hyderabad, the name of Hyderabad city was changed to Hyderabad Deccan for easy identification because in the Indian subcontinent, we had another famous city with the same name, Hyderabad Sindh. So to differentiate between Sindh and the South, Hyderabad Deccan was what Hyderabad city was renamed and it continued to be called Hyderabad Deccan until 1956 and then it was changed to Hyderabad Andhra Pradesh and now Hyderabad Telangana. All this while, the Persians or the Persian name or the Arabic name of the city was Hyderabad for Khandabunyad but the locals, the Telugus often also called it Bhagyanagaram, meaning which could also be assumed as the translation of Farkhanda Binyat, meaning the blessed foundations. Uh, Bhagyanagaram or Bhagyanagar, as some uh, people call it in the Telugu's call it, uh, means the city of good fortune. Yeah, and uh, you also had uh, some names of the city mentioned as Bhagnagar, meaning the city of gardens. So this was what some Persians and some European travelers also recorded while they were traveling that the Persians call the city Hyderabad and the locals call it Bakh Nagar or the city of gardens. Some historians claim that the city of Hyderabad was originally named Bhagyanagar after this dancer girl called Bhagmati who lived in a village called Chichlam which is in present day Daira Mir Momin Mughalpura, Hyderabad. Now according to this story, the young prince Muhammad Khali would cross the Musi river every day to go and meet his lover who was this middle aged woman who would dance in the village of Chichlam. And when his father Ibrahim Khali got to know about the adventures of the young prince, apparently the king orders a bridge to be constructed over the river Musi in the year 1578. Now, we know this bridge as the Puranapal. Muhammad Khuli would cross this Puranapal bridge over instead of walking through or wading through or sailing through the river. He would walk over the Puranapal bridge and end up on the other side and meet his love, Bhagmati. Now, some theories also say that Khuli Khutub Shah or Muhammad Khuli built the Charminar at the very spot he had met Bhagmati. Now, we don't really have any evidence to support this and we don't have any coins, we don't have any inscriptions. Khuli Khutub Shah or Muhammad Khuli who wrote almost 50,000 verses of poetry does not really mention Bhagmati as such but he does mention Hyder Mahal. Now, what does Hyderabad really mean? The word Hyder in Arabic stands for lion denoting Imam Ali who was the fourth caliph of Islam and one of the main icons in the Shia faith. Hyderabad also would translate to the city of lions uh, denoted after uh, Imam Ali and it only made sense because the first capital that the Khutub Shahis made was Khila Muhammad Nagar and then the one succeeding it was Hyderabad. So here are all the names that Hyderabad city was called.